It is a beautiful day to be talking about solar generators. Today we're going to be discussing the brand new EP500 and EP500 Pro by Blue Eddy and also the Delta Pro made by EcoFlow. So stick around. Portable solar battery packs have been around for many years. There are a lot of companies that make them for emergency use, camping, and then just generally power on the go. These portable units are often referred to as solar generators because of their ability to provide energy and you can simply plug your tools, appliances, and other devices directly into them. Until now, most portable solar generators have had a capacity between a couple hundred watts for the smaller ones and the larger models had a capacity of you know between 1500 and 2000 watts now this is enough energy to power up your electronics your lighting uh, some power tools some small kitchen appliances your refrigerator for a short amount of time they have proven to be very useful during short intermittent power interruptions or for providing limited power to off-grid camping but the solar generator war is heating up and there are some incredible products that would be launched very soon that offer a lot more power. I'm talking about the Blue Eddy EP500, the EP500 Pro, and EcoFlow's Delta Pro. These two companies have significantly improved their solar technologies and now offer a solution for long-term off-grid scenarios. Let's take a closer look at these two companies and these three new products. Now, because they are brand new generators, I don't yet have one to be able to test and review and to show you. Both companies have an outstanding history with quality and customer service, and I'm sure they're not going to disappoint us. Now, I have been in contact with both companies, and I have scoured the internet searching for the specs and, uh, that have been publicly released, and so I'm going to compare those side by side. Now, Blue Eddy is a couple months ahead in development of the EP500 and 500 Pro, in fact, they just entered the production stage, while the Delta Pro is still being tested. That's why if you search the internet, you're going to start seeing demonstration videos for the Blue Eddy models, but nothing yet really for the Delta Pro. Now in full disclosure, because the Delta Pro is still in testing, some of the specs and features that we're going to discuss could change slightly in the final production model. The specs for the Blue Eddy is for their model that is currently in production. But even so, some of the information I have found is a little conflicting. Now let's compare what we do know and let's jump on the computer and I'll show these two products side by side. Okay, here are the, uh, here's what the models are looking like here. This is the Blue Eddy EP500, the EP500 Pro, and of course the Echo Flows Delta Pro. Okay, the battery technology that is used in all of these models is the LifePo 4. Uh, and these batteries are known because uh, you know, they're, they're more stable, they're more reliable, they're safer than your typical lithium phosphate battery. Uh, they, they hold the charge uh, a, a lot longer, so the capacity has increased significantly. Now, as we take a look at battery capacity right here, you'll notice that both the Blue Eddy uh, EP500 and the EP500 Pro have 5100 watt hours of capacity, which, which is a pretty big battery. That's, that's a lot of energy, and that's going to uh, you know, power a lot of things in your home for, uh, you know, quite some time. And if you look over here at the Echo Flow, you'll see it only has 3600 watt hours. So significantly less in the main unit. But one thing that's interesting about the Delta Pro is that it's expandable. You can add additional batteries to it. And I have a picture here I'll bring up of those batteries. So if you look here, this is the main unit, and of course it has the, the outlets and everything where you can plug into for the 3.6 uh, kilowatt hours. And then you can add uh, two, at least two additional batteries. This, this graph here is a little deceptive because they've got a little plus sign over here, but all the information that I've seen this far is saying uh, that you can only hook up two batteries. Um, so the batteries don't have the additional controls, but being able to add two additional batteries uh, significantly increases your power. Now, if you look up here, it says 2,500 kilowatt hours, and maybe that's why there's a plus sign down here. There has been some teaser information released over social media that indicates that they will be releasing some kind of option to be able to go to as much as 25 
kilowatt hours, which is just huge. That that is just incredible. So we'll uh, we'll just have to take a look uh, and see and watch the information as it comes out to see what they're going to be offering there. So with our next category here, battery expansion, I'm not seeing anything from uh, uh, on the blue eddies that that you can expand and add additional batteries. You can tie two units together. Um, and so I know they, they have that capability. And of course, uh, with the Echo Flow, you can. Let's talk about life cycle here for a moment. A lot of your smaller power packs, you know, they have a, a life cycle of like 500. I've seen some that were like 800 cycles before the battery starts to degrade. On both Blue Eddy models, they're advertising 6,000 cycles. That's 6,000 times you can use that and recharge it before the battery starts to drop and they're saying it's going to drop to about 50 percent which is just huge and if you can do the calculation you can uh, if you uh, use this battery up and recharge it one time every day it lasts you about 16 years likewise the echo flow over here they're advertising 6500 cycles uh, before that battery starts to degrade they haven't released uh, what the the uh, capacity will be after 6500 industry standard is about 80 percent so we're hoping that it would be closer to that uh, but we'll just have to wait and see now let's talk about output wattage this is the energy that these things are capable of producing at one time so uh, as you see here the 500 uh, does 2000 watts but it can surge up to 4800 for instance you know if you turn on an appliance uh, sometimes, uh, you know, certain power tools and appliances, they take a lot of energy just to get the components moving and working, and then it settles down to its normal operating range. So that's what the surge is all about here. So the EP500 has 2,000, the EP500 Pro has 3,000, but it does surge to 6, which is nice. And the Echo Flow over here uh, beats them out. It's got 3,600 watts of output, and it can surge to 7,200. So again, this is talking about, you know, if you add up all your appliances and how much energy, energy they use, you know, you could potentially run uh, up to 3,600 watts worth of appliances all at one time and, and surge to 7,200. Now, let's talk about input watts. And, and both of these are U.S. only. It's going to be different for those of you in Europe and in other places. But so we're only talking the, the U.S. version. Now, input watts, that's the energy that goes into the machine. Uh, in order to recharge the batteries, okay? So when we're looking over here at the Blue Eddy, if you plug this into a wall outlet, it's capable of handling up to 600 watts for this model and 1800 watts for the, the Pro version. And correspondingly, it's going to take you about nine hours for this one to charge versus three and a half hours for this one. Now the Echo Flow, it can handle up to 800 watts at a time and there's not a lot of information but we're expecting uh, it'll take two to three hours to to fully charge this if you just plug it into the wall at home now if you're using solar okay the EP500 can take up to 1200 watts of solar and it only takes five hours to to charge whereas this one takes a monstrous 2400 watts so you can use and you know that that's a lot of solar panels uh, you know, if you think of it, if you have a 200 watt solar panel, you can connect 12 solar panels together to, to maximize the input energy on this. Um, and, and if you did, you know, you'd be in this range right here. And the new Delta Pro, it can handle up to 1200 watts uh, input. And we still, we, we don't have any information on, we don't have any information on how long that uh, is going to last. You know, how long, how much, how long it's going to take to charge. Um, the EP500 does not allow you to charge from your car battery, okay, there's, it does not appear to be an option, but the Pro model does. So you can plug this into your 12-volt uh, uh, car outlet and charge this thing up, but it's going to take you about 13 hours. Uh, the same thing with the Echo Flow, they're advertising that you can do that. Uh, we don't have any time on how long it's going to take to charge though. Now, if you have an electric vehicle or you use those electric vehicle charging stations, uh, you can't use that to power up and to recharge the battery for the 500. And it looks like you can based on some pictures that I've seen, but I'm not really seeing any data for the Pro. So look for that. Uh, it looks like you'll be able to charge it up from a car, uh, an EV car charging station. And certainly you can with the Echo Flow, and they're advertising that it'll only take about an hour to charge, which is just phenomenal. 
So ports. Ports are pretty similar across the board. Uh, you know, for the pro version right here, I saw information that talked about five. I saw pictures that had six. I really don't know what the final is uh, as far as your standard household outlet. Uh, either way, five or six is a, a really good number. Um, the lower model only has four, and if you look at the Delta, the Delta only offers four. But then if you look at the 30 amp, which would be something like your electric range, uh, you know, it has that funny looking plug on it. Uh, this model has one, this one has two, and the Delta Pro is advertising that they also have one. Now one thing that is of interest, the Anderson port uh, is, is uh, fairly new, and Echo Flow is already installing that with their machine. So for those of you who are familiar with the Anderson port, uh, that will be offered over here on the Echo Flow, not over here with the Blue Eddy models. You've got a variety of USB connections right here. You've got some slower connections. You've got the fast connections. You even have a 100 watt uh, USB-C. And uh, they both offer those. Now, all of these units do have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. So you can easy access. Uh, they have app monitoring. So you can use the phone app in order to monitor the, the, uh, how many watts are being used or if you're charging it, you know, how, uh, how that's going and how much battery life you have. So the the app with the, uh, the the Delta Pro seems to look like it, it's just going to function better. Looks like there's more information available. Uh, it just looks a little nicer. Now some unique features here, and, and there, there may be others. This is just what I've been able to pretty much confirm. I do know that on top of these Blue Eddy units up here, you can just take your cell phone and set it on top. And they have a charging pad up there for wireless charging, which is pretty nice. That's kind of handy. I did not see anything advertised about that. Or the echo flow so I can't confirm whether it does or does not but another very important feature and, and, and we're about to talk about this but a very important feature of the echo flow over these other two is its portability okay uh, this one's gonna be a lot easier to move around and with this an additional feature is that you can add those additional batteries that we talked about now when we're talking about portability if you notice here uh, both these models have these wheels so there's four wheels that allows you to easily to push it around your home or your garage, wherever you have it stored. And that's important because this thing is a monstrous 167 pounds. Or the Pro version is a 182 pounds. Now that's not very portable when we're talking about wanting to move it in and out of your vehicle or take it with you if you're going camping. It's, that's just not feasible. Okay, that, that, I, I just don't see that ever happening. So unfortunately, because they pack so much battery into this one unit, it's just going to be huge. Whereas if you look over here at the Echo Flow, it's only 99 pounds because it has that smaller battery. But then again, if you add that extra battery, you increase your capacity, but you can separate them. You know, you can just take this part of it and leave the other part at home if, if, you're, if you're going somewhere. So there's that aspect of it. Now both companies are coming out with new solar panels. Uh, Blue Eddy is uh, offering uh, 200 watt solar panels. But Echo Flow is having a really nice 400 watt solar panel. And if you use uh, their solar panel, it's only going to take three to get optimum charging out of this unit right here. Um, you know, it's, it's got that 1200 watt input, so you'd only be able to connect three panels total. Uh, but again, uh, you don't have to have three panels. You can use just two or you can just use one. It just takes longer for it to charge. But what a great feature, a 400 watt panel. A lot of the smaller generators we talked about earlier, you know, they're coming with 100 watt panels, 120, uh, so not very big at all. So this is, this is nice. And, you know, if you think of it, it's, it's going to be about the size of a sheet of plywood. I looked at the specs and, and it's a little, a little less than a 4 by 8 so that's, and you know, if you're familiar with plywood, it would be like almost the size of a, a piece of plywood. But they fold up which is real nice. So they do fold up so they're easy to store and tuck away. Now, where's, what's the status right here? I, I mentioned this earlier. Um, Blue Eddy is still, uh, they're still offering some early bird pricing uh, available to backers. So if you, uh, if you want to invest, uh, you can certainly jump in there uh, and do that. However, these models are, uh, they do appear to be in production now. And so that pricing probably isn't going to last too long. Um, and, and they're, they're, they're shipping already. I mean, they're getting real close to shipping. Uh, the information I saw is that these models will start shipping in August. Now, as far as Echo Flow, I told you that it's still in the testing phase. Um, 
so they they don't have their they've got a Kickstarter campaign up. You can't you can't do anything with it yet. You can't donate. You can't purchase. But they're going to do that July first. That launches July first of twenty twenty one. So be watching for that. Uh, you know that's going to kick off July one. It's going to allow you to start purchasing, and you're going to be able to get that early bird and super early uh, bird pricing. Um, however, be aware that those units are not going to be available to ship until late this year possibly even the beginning of uh, next year. Both these products offer, uh, oh, excuse me, Blue Eddy offers a three-year warranty. And I saw some conflicting information. It looks like EcoFlow, it might be 18 months. It could be 36. I, I'm, I'm trying to clarify that. I, I'm not real sure. I'd be disappointed if it was less than 36 months, uh, considering the the uh, the cost involved of these units. Now, let's talk about who's going to use these. You know, what are these best used for? Clearly, because of the, the, the weight of the Blue Eddy, uh, this is for home or office use. You know, some place where you can easily push it around if you need to, uh, and that's going to be about it. You're definitely wanna, not going to want to try to go mobile with these things. Whereas the Echo Flow, it gives you the option to use it at home, uh, but it's, it's light enough and small enough that you'd be able to pack it with you and take it camping. You know, you can use it in your RV, boat, whatever. And, and it's pretty convenient because they got these big wheels here on the back. And I, I didn't mention this earlier, but it does have a pull handle right here. So you grab that pull handle and pull it out, and, and you can just pull it around. And so it's easy, uh, a lot easier to, to move around. And again, because of the weight, it's going to be a lot easier getting it in and out of your car or truck. Let's take a look at pricing. So here's what we know so far. For the Blue Eddy, the Kickstarter pricing, the, you know, the early bird and the super early bird pricing, that's expired already. That's over. That's done. But you can get an idea here of what it was for both the early bird pricing. Uh, we'll look at the EP500. It was $27.99. And then the super early bird, or excuse me, the early bird uh, was $31.59. So, you know, three $300 difference or so there. And then the same thing for the EP500 Pro. Now, because EcoFlow hasn't started yet, it's coming out July 1. We don't know what the super early bird pricing is going to be. That hasn't been announced. But they have announced that the early bird pricing is going to be $21.99. And that's just for the main unit right here. If you get the battery pack, the extra battery with it, uh, that early bird pricing is going to be $16.99. Now if we scroll on down, uh, you can go out there on Indigo right now and invest in either the Blue Eddy models. And this is your pricing right here, $31.99 for the smaller unit. And for the EP500 Pro, it's going to be $41.29. Uh, and, and, that's, and that's still open right now. So you can go out there and, and invest and probably get your products in August. And, and you get into that early bird pricing, not retail. We don't yet know what the, the uh, Indigo pricing is going to be for the Echo Flow Delta when it comes out. Um, we're just going to have to wait and see. But retail... So this will give you an indication right here. Um, you know, you're you're talking, you know, $800 or so off retail price for the Blue Eddy, and and the same over here, about $800 off on the Pro model. And again, we don't know what the the retail price is going to be of this one because it hasn't been announced. You know, it's going to be cheaper certainly because it's it's a much smaller battery, but it's going to make it more affordable so you can buy the extra battery and if you do that if you buy the extra battery for this model here um you know you're going to be at uh what uh, 7 7.2 uh versus the 5.1 uh, kilowatt hours so uh, significantly more power right there okay and before we go there's there's some additional information here the, that came out that i want to share with you um both of these companies are going to have uh, some type of sub panel that allows you to tie this into your main home uh, panel box, okay, uh, for like emergency backup power. So that is going to be an option. So hey, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, you know, this side-by-side -side look at both the, the, you know, the Blue Eddy models and also the Echo Flow Delta Pro models. Uh, you know, which which one would you buy right now if they were available? Which which one would you go for? Uh, me personally, I'm I'm looking real hard at the Echo Flow, and that's probably what's gonna, what's going to end up in my home just because of the portability factor of it and some of the features it's just a little bit different than the other two uh, and i really like the idea that i'm going to be able to expand 
and, and make that a, a you know a, a much bigger unit to be able to power my home for for several days so i really like uh, what they're doing over there and uh yeah i'm looking forward to being able to, being able to get a hold of one of these uh in the next couple of months so i can start testing and reviewing i'm hoping that maybe blue eddie will also uh send one over so we can do a, a better side-by-side -side comparison uh, you know, Blue Eddie's been around for a while. They've got some great products out there, so I'm not going to knock them at all. I'm just saying right now, the way things are looking between these two products, I would seriously take a look at the Echo Flow Delta Pro. Uh, I think it's just going to be a better value. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me that thumbs up. This is a new channel, and I could really use your support by giving me a thumb up, maybe sharing this on your social media accounts. And also, I do have a couple other videos uh, that we just put out recently, and I'm going to put links to those right over here. And if you go click on those, I'm going to see you on the other side. Thanks for watching.